Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back. Some Borderlands 3 action for you here. So just let me bring you up to speed. I was live streaming Borderlands for the first time and decided to live stream. We're on Eden 6 and I'm inside a prison on Eden 6. And Eden 6 is like, you know, it's like a mossy kind of foresty type planet. And this this area here that we're in is a prison. And inside here, guess who we ran into? Brick? Then Tiny Tina, and then Mordecai. Mordecai was just up there a second ago. Now, it looks like I'm going to be dropping down into some kind of boss fight here, so I wanted to make sure I recorded that. But I wanted to show you. I had... I had... A hundred thousand dollars here. I'm at 69.9. The last challenge is right there, which is to get that tower. You have to jump around the edges... To that pipe. Which... I've never even got past that. Once you get on that pipe, you have to jump up to that thing and then onto the roof. And if you fall, it's out of bounds and you instantly get respawn. I'm going to do it one more time just to show you because I'm so pissed off about it. That's all right. I can collect a bunch of guns to get the money back. But man, it's it's such a hard... And here's the reason why. I, these challenges are just... They know. Gearbox knows. I'm that, I'm that guy. I just love doing the, the crew challenges. This is all I have left for this prison area. I got all the other stuff. This last Crimson Radio here. I'm going to try it one more time. Maybe you guys will bring me luck. But these... Like this pipe right there, I almost just fell off right now. This is the jump I can't make. <laughs> oh my god, you guys brought me luck! No way! Did you guys see me spazzing out right there? I was holding my breath. Dude, you guys brought me luck. No way! See, I need to record everything because... I just... Every time I fail, it's like 10,000... 10,000 points. <laughs> Free brain rush, bring friend, come in, children of the vault. All right, so Tiny Tina made us a pizza bomb. We put a pizza bomb on there and it blew the two sides open. But it looks like the warden watches, and look, it's a drop down, so I imagine this is going to be a boss fight. So I figured you guys like the when I put up the boss fights, they're pretty good. <laughs> oh, I respect uh, since the last, um, probably since the last time you guys saw it. So I was specced heavily into Hitman. I had all Sentinel all the way down to here. A lot of stuff in Sentinel. Now you can see I'm only specced into, well, I think gun damage a little bit here. But mainly, nothing in Double Agent. And I know some people said that the Digi, Digi dude, Digi clone was, was good. But <clears throat> for me, I found some really cool things in the Undercover, which is your shield one. And I just want to show you, there's a lot of builds out there on YouTube that talk about, and there were some be just before the game launched and it, everyone, you know, it seemed like they were really knew what they were talking about. But for me, you know, I, you're always, no matter what character you play, you always want to be a good gun shooter, good with your guns, right? And you don't want to rely necessarily on the Sentinel drone, your Digiclone, your pets, Whatever it is. Now, as a, I did the same thing as, as the Siren, too, and I'll, I can talk about that. But I did um, Action Skill Cooldown. That's a must, right? I did Health Regen, because you got to have Regen. And then Critical Hits. If I, I have 20% chance to slow down an enemy, and I'm always going for criticals because I'm using the pistols. Then I've got Gun Damage and Accuracy with my shields. Health regen, reload speed, and recharge delay increased when you're near your barrier. And I made my barrier a dome and then got down into this stuff. Now, really, that's pretty much it. This stuff down here is not as important. So I may start in looking deeper into some of these other trees to see if there's possibly something in here that's going to relate to me and not necessarily to either my shield, Digiclone, or the Sentinel drone. Now, with Amara... I did the same thing on the You Always Win playthrough. I went with what I saw on the internet with people talking about good builds for solo, good builds for solo or co-op, and even listen to the developers. And I went, I was going down the melee tree thinking that was going to be beast. But I found through five episodes, I never could kill anybody with my melee slams. Nobody. Like, even when I got pretty deep into it, like, uh, pretty deep. Level 14, 15, right in there somewhere. 
So I switched to Phase Grass, which is like Maya's Phase Lock, and it is awesome. You lock them up, you're in a gunfight, you don't worry about them. You can either shoot that person, you can get Singularity that sucks them in, you can make them explode, all kinds of stuff. So don't always believe what you see on these people that get early copies of the game, and they're telling you what the best setup is. Man, it took me, it took me one, like, couple hours with the game to, to figure out that those builds were full of malarkey. Ha! <laughs> Maybe not. You know Excellent. what I'm saying. Excellent. Hunter. Hammerlock! Bold, refined, seeks advantage. So we're, we're in... Nice belly, dude. Who is it? Ward. Sadistic. Oafish. Oh, shoot. Ward. Ward for days with... I got my pistol and I got a shotgun. See, my sentinel just goes out to annoy people. That's really all it does. Wow, he's got some. Okay, Warden's got some skills. Let's see if I can possibly freeze him. Oh, I did. I froze him a little bit from that critical headshot. You ever notice a lot of bosses that if you just go back and forth, you see how their their stuff will miss you? Come on there, Warden. What's up, man? Did he just pull his head off? It looked like he just pulled his head off. Oh, that looked like a tracking thing. That was really tracking. Come on, Ward. What's up, dude? Can't really see. Can't really see, Ward. What happened to your shield, buddy? Oh, jeez. Look at he. Look at those. Do you see those rockets on his shoulders? Oh, dude. He, he just turned into. He did. A raging warden. Oh, no. We got a raging warden. I knew it. Two shot shotgun I just I just found on the ground. Blue, I think. Super good. Don't always let the colors fool you. Look at this. It, the thing about this shotgun over the other ones I've been using is this one seems to be super accurate at range. It's pretty good. See that? And it's got it's got good crit damage, like plus 10% crit. It's not even that good of a gun, and it's only two-shotter, but man, it doesn't, the, the reticle doesn't bloom, which means I can get, I can pop off shots from a distance with some critical hit accuracy. The guy's just gonna keep chasing me, Send so I don't go bug him. Feels like zombies just running you in circles. You couldn't hit a cow's arse with a banjo. You couldn't hit a cow's arse with a banjo. Oh, yeah. Shotgun! See, even at that range, see how good that is at that range? Look at that! Oh, critical! Dude, I'm telling you guys, I'm doing the crit builds. That's what I'm. I was never really about crit builds before. And a lot of people were in Borderlands 2, Borderlands 1 crit builds. I am all. I gotta look in there and see. What kind of skills I can do to improve my criticals because oh shoot hello <laughs> telling you this shotgun's pretty good and I almost just sold it because I'm like oh it's another whatever it's a Jacobs of course but look at that where that came from you get those crit crits in and it's got the it's got the good melee on it too if you're if you get in tight quarters and you want to panic melee. Dude, is he gaining? He's gaining health. Look at that. One shot, that fool. Dude, I, I don't know how I'm going to... He's just going to keep chasing. How am I going to sustain damage on this fool? It's pretty good reload speed, so if you you calculate out like a, a shotgun with a magazine of six, 
and then you you know the faster fire rate of this and accuracy and the quick reload of the two bullets it's no faster or slower than than a magazine fed one so that's pretty good Look at the range on it. That's critical. That range is ridiculous. One shot crits. And this isn't a boss. Arena. Is that Mordecai up there helping? Dude, how am I going to get this guy? And why did he get help back there? End of the road for you. End of the road for you. Yeah, I'm going to start looking at my next points. Is that how he's getting? Oh, yeah. They, oh my god! Come on, Mega Mega Region Warden! I almost had him dead! Dude, how am I gonna kill this dude? Mega Raging Warden! Dude, I'm getting getting dizzy running in circles from this fool. My hip fire is pretty good with the pistols too. I am frosting him a little bit. See how slow he is right now? He got frosted from that critical. Yeah, that's a good idea. Start looking into my my whatever passive crits are. Go for more of a crit build because I've been focusing on that with with these Jacob's guns. It's they're so strong. Like even even one that's been like over leveled, like running a much lower level gun, it still holds its own for a long time, and that's really good. little fools I know this is a successful operation successful operation is he gonna turn into a raging mega super raging mega Borden dude Jacobs just sent me an email it better be another gun I love you Jacobs is he doing it again He's doing it again. He look at his health. Look at his health. Ultimate. Ri okay, seriously. Seriously, game. Gearbox. Seriously. How many levels of raging can we have here? Ultimate mega raging douche. Oh, now he's got fire damage. There two of them. Jeez, dude. Oh, he's been slowed. He's been slowed. He's been slowed. Now he's taking shortcuts on me. Holy cow, dude. He's got all these little fellas with their little police hats on. Don't say I didn't warn ya! Neener, neener, neener. Some good crits right there. There's a slowdown. That's a pretty good little passive perk. The slowdown for crit? I like that. Give you just enough time to possibly get away. Don't tell me he's gonna do it again. Ultimate Raging Warden. Remember the Ragers where their head pops off and they, they end up with that little tiny head? <laughs> Shoot through my shield to get a little amp damage. No way, he's doing it again. No way. Come on, Gearbox. The never ending, improvable boss fight. Gearbox, please. There's a Mordecai right there. His head, oh shoot, his head's getting smaller and smaller, I think. Oh my god, this is so tiring. Getting a lot of crits on him, though. As you can see, he got slowed. 
Put this out here. Get some hand damage going. That didn't last very long. Oh. Let's try something else here. That's not working very good. Oh, shoot. That's going to get me killed. Say, thank you. Get them heads. Ow. Do not. No way. What's he doing? Look at that, two shots to that dude. No way, he's doing it again. Is he stuck? Oh, he's getting hit by Mordecai. You better drop a legendary. What the gearbox? After all that. All together, family. Move it. Lower the cage. Find the chain's weak point. This is it. on. This is it. This is what I get. Dude, I've been getting smoke checked on weapons. <coughs> I gotta make some of that money back. <laughs> Surely there's something you can shoot to lower the cage. I'm free. Our job here is done. Catch you later, Vaulty Vault. BT Hope! BT Ho! Crunky Bomb. What'd she call it? Crunky Bomb? <laughs> bomb me crunk. What up, Hammerlock? Dude, that was a long boss fight. My that thanks, guy. Vault Hunter. I'm not too worse for wear, all things considered. I'm glad that Wainwright sent you. Now, as to my incarceration. I'm sorry to say the one who traded me to those wretched Calypso twins in exchange for the Jacobs Corporation. That vile creature is my own sister, what? Aurelia Hammerlock. As to why she sold me to the cult. Simply put, she despises sister. me. She always has. There is no stronger bond than family, and when that bond is broken, no greater source of pain. Family's rough. I know how you feel. My brothers try to kill me loads of times. Look who outlit them all, though. Hmm, indeed. Mm. I shall rest here a moment and meet you back at the lodge. Now that my safety is secured, I imagine Wainwright has already set plans in motion to retake his family namesake. And he gave me a sniper. I don't use snipers! That was a crazy boss fight, was it not? Didn't I drop in here? Man, that was pretty wild. That guy morphing, what, four times? It seemed like he morphed four times. I could be wrong. But between this shotgun, you saw I tried to fire up the elemental. That didn't do anything. Then you, the game is really cool because what used to be like me wanting Maliwan only, now I don't even really want it. I, I get, the one I have is actually a legendary. Um, but I'd rather have these Jacobs guns now. They're pretty solid. Pretty solid. Oh, look at this. So we're... This is the warden's office. Oh. Interesting. The warden's office. Oh, Winnie. This seems to be the end of me. I always thought I would be snapped in twain by the jaws of some slavering beast, or incinerated by lava in some underground tomb, or perhaps frozen solid while hunting a cryptid across a tundra. Perhaps seen alive by a sentient hive of psychic insects, huh? Missed opportunities. But now, as I waste away in these brutish confines, 
I hunger not for death-seeking adventures, but instead for one last peaceful moment with you. I love you, Wainwright. Whoa. Farewell. All right. So when we're streaming, I'm I got this extension called EchoCast, which when I find a red chest, it allows people who's watching the stream they can get a gun if they have the game and they're tied in with it. They can actually get a gun with it. And there's a pinata one and some other stuff. It's pretty cool. And I in this area, I believe I found everything challenge wise. So I've got all this stuff. And then two of three missions, seven locations. I missed one Iridian writing. Well, actually, I didn't miss it. I just can't read it yet. But look, this is... I got two of three red chests. This will be the third one. What's the over and under of me getting a legendary out of this bad boy? It's always green. It's always green. Whatever. I'm going to show you what my shotgun is that I'm using. Oh, it is purple. It is purple. But there it is. It's got reload speed and melee damage. And usually when it's a melee damage gun that you sacrifice some of your other stuff but for some reason the accuracy is only 56 percent but it is really good at range it's a really good shotgun and here's my pistol that i was using the daisy marshall it's it's just a it's a level 21 and i think i'm at level 25 so this thing is you know four three four could be getting close to five levels under where i'm at now and then here's my level 20. This is a legendary. It's all right against regular people. But if you got to stay on the move, you know, charging up your charging up your Maliwan weapons takes a while to do. It takes a while. So I think I got the I think I saw the iridium writing in here. I just can't read it yet cuz I don't have the decoder. Where is that triangle at? There it is. Yeah, right there. <clears throat> so I found it. So the, here's the deal with these, you guys. At some point in the game, you're going to get a decoder. Just like after the first vault now, you have the ability to punch the iridium piles and get some. Later on, you'll be able to decipher these. And if you go back through the maps, if you found them, you'll know where they're at. You see you'll get 25 iridium for this. So if you want to buy some of those anointed weapons from Earl... You'll be able to do that with all this iridium you get. Or you just say it's not worth going back through. But if you want to make it fun, you wait till you finish. Then you go into mayhem mode and everywhere you go back, it's not going to be like level 7, level 13. It'll be level 50 because mayhem mode will bring all the enemies up to your level, which I think is pretty cool. So where are we supposed to go return to Floodmore Basin? Um... Floodmore Basin right here. So this is the... We were in underneath somewhere in here. This is the upper area. There. So we were we went in here. This little area here. And this is all Floodmore Basin. It's pretty cool. And I got some definite challenges to do here. Let's go back to here. This is the kind of the top center. This is... I think this might be Wainwright's... So this is Jacob's headquarters, right? Jacob's. Jacob's Bolt headquarters. Hunter. I am Baroness Aurelia Hamelock, CEO of the Jacob's Corporation. I've just been informed that you rescued my brother. Disappointing. It's a family affair and you've no business interfering. That said, Vault Hunters are nothing more than whores. So I will simply pay you to leave my planet. Come to Jacob's Manor to negotiate your price. Say. Oh, and when you see Alistair, tell him I'm rich. <laughs> That's what I should have said. Much riches, bitches. Vault Hunter, you magnificent bastard. You did it. Now I am truly in your debt. Vault Hunter, my sister contacted you, didn't she? Yeah, Aurelia wants to pay me to leave the planet. That damn harpy. Anything Aurelia offers in one hand is only to distract from the knife in the other. If you set foot in that manner, she will try to kill you. Which is why we're going. Winnie! Vault Hunter, you did right by us, prying Alistair from the fangs of those zealots. Now, Jacobs is true to his word. I'll get you that vault key. But that means both you and I are going into that harpy's den together. The key's been in my family for generations, but the exact location, well, that's one secret my father took to his grave. 
You accept Aurelia's invitation and keep her distracted while I search the manor for the key. I wonder if Mordecai's single. She says, I wonder if Mordecai's single. Anyway, so lead, leading up to this point, we had Maliwan versus Atlas, right? And Maliwan was also attacking that other planet. But now here, it's kind of an internal hostile takeover. Brother and sister. From the path. So yeah, that's it's pretty cool. So go to Jacob's Manor. So Jacob's, where's Jacob's Manor at in this joint? It's got to be someplace I haven't been yet. Oh yeah, it's up there. Where are we at on challenges here? I got one more Crimson Radio to do out in this area. And another dead drop. Interesting. Oh no, I just got to get the dead drop, which is right here. Oh, let's go do that. Let's go get that dead drop. See if we can uh, get something good. If you must meet with my sister. See, should I dump some of this stuff? Yeah. I shall speak plainly. Aurelia is one of the wealthiest. I'm gonna dump some of this stuff. So I don't even pay attention to what it is. Sort by. Always sort by score. Get the highest score. What is that one? Look at that thing. Oh, cryo. Say freeze. I think this is the one I got. It could be good. I just haven't been using snipers, honestly. I gotta see see where I get to my money. What do we got here? Flat off weapon damage. Atlas critical weapon damage. Right now I'm running 13% Jacob's weapon damage mod. It's an old one, but it's still it's still working good. Most of these things I just picked up to sell, so I don't I don't I don't particularly worry about them too much. Yeah, see, this is 13% pistol damage. That's what it is. It's not Jacob's. It's pistol damage. So that works pretty good. How much do I end up with money now? 90,000. Almost back after all those falls. they have any good guns here? Anything good? What? Grenade mods? Isn't this a... Oh, that's ammo dump. I was in the gun machine, dummy. Dummy! What do we got here? Vladoff? Tidior, Torg, here's a Jacob Sniper, Maliwan, Jacob Sniper, Atlas, Hyperion SMG, Tidior Shotgun, Vladoff. That, look how cool that looks though, right? <laughs> See, pretty cool looking stuff. Didn't I get an email too? I think Jacob sent me an email in the middle of that fight. And it is a sniper, what do you know? Some of these are good. But I don't play the sniper game. Like, I don't sit back. Okay, so this is that cryo one. Cryo and radiation. You can switch back and forth. This has a 36% weapon charge speed. So charge speed just are important. Critical hit damage. That's pretty good. Probably worked pretty good, but it's a very slow fire rate. Under one, it was 0.88. Look at this thing. Mali one shotgun. They just take so long to shoot, it's hard to line them up. Because a lot of the enemies actually are pretty fast. Selling them. Let's go see if we can get anything from the, the drop. Oh, it's gonna freeze me in motion. I was gonna see. Was that the only thing left? No, I still had I still had one broadcast place to find in the in the basin here so the basin's like a flooded flooded type thingy Ooh, i got the fat tire i found the fat tire mod inside this area here do 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 i'm pretty sure it's right back behind this shed Yes, sir. Come on, legendary. No. Ooh, that might not be bad. A Jacob's rifle with critical hit damage. All right, we'll check that one out. What is that shield? Oh, it's got amp. It's got amp on it. I wonder if they actually put a... Um, I wonder if they put like an amp shield, like a B shield in this one. 
take a look at this shield real quick. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. This one versus this one. All right, so better capacity, better delay, better rate. Uh, mine has plus 10 health, 8 health, 17 resistance to the last type received. This is 30% chance to reflect projectiles while shielded, while full shots drain 30% of... Sh oh, it is. It's an amp shield, but when you shoot it, it drains your shield. I'll keep it, and I will try it out. And then the other thing was this guy here versus mine that I have. So a lot more damage. Uh, Accuracy is better, which is surprising because the one I'm using is, is pretty accurate. Handling, reload, fire rate is less, and magazine is only eight size. So it's like a DMR. But it has plus weapon damage, fire rate, zoom, and critical hit. But check out this one. This is a pretty interesting, pretty interesting. I love the sound of it. Listen to the sound of this. Right? It's got a big suppressor on the end of the barrel, if you can see that. And then when you put on the, uh, the uh, rocket bipod, watch. No movement at all. It's a pretty neat gun. I like it. You can stand back with it. Pretty cool. All right, so this guy to here. Check this thing out. It almost looks like a shotgun. It almost looks like a shotgun, right? This is what I do. Like if there's a if there's a gun that I have with if I have a doubt that I want to sell it, I'll just go try it out. Just swap it out with one of your guns, try it out, and if not, just get it out of your inventory. It's only going to confuse you, right? It'll only confuse you. Anyway, you guys, I wanted to make sure I showed you that boss fight which ended up being worth it. That dude was crazy good. So, hey, anyway, that's it for me. Hit that like button. Thanks for watching, you guys.